Hey, good morning, everybody. Dan Simmel here. I want to welcome you again to Tuesday morning. I'm really glad that you are joining us for another edition of Life Lifters, where we give a daily dose of encouragement in five minutes or less. And uh, what we're focusing on this week is really this uh, message series that Pastor Vince just concluded moving forward in life. And there are some thoughts that God put on my heart on things that he challenged me with. And I just wanted to share them with you because I think they will be an encouragement to you as we journey through this week. And uh, one of the things that um, we talked about yesterday is that, that uh, God doesn't want us to be people of status quo, uh, that God has infinitely more planned for us. And as we trust him by faith, we can move forward in life with big dreams, big goals, uh, because we know we serve an amazing God who can give us infinitely more than anything we could ask or think or even imagine in our lives. And uh, so that was just a great challenge to us. And today what I want to do is I want to talk about I think one of the things that, that holds us back from moving forward in life, and uh, the truth is this, is that where we are today is really a direct result of decisions that we made yesterday. And what I have found in my own life, and maybe you have as well, is that so often there were decisions or things that I did in the past that actually um, became regrets in our lives, in my life, um, because there were decisions that I made uh, that uh, actually produce what I would say is scars in my life. Um, in fact, I'll give you an illustration. When I was a, a kid, uh, my dad didn't like us playing with knives, um, but I had snuck a knife up into my bedroom. And one evening I was actually trying to open a jar in my room with a knife. And as I went to open that jar uh, um, in my room, the knife actually slipped and actually went through my hand. And uh, you can see if you got closer that I actually have a scar on my hand as a result of playing with that knife. Um, I have a tangible reminder in front of me every day of a scar in my life because I made a bad decision. And sometimes what happens in our lives is we make these bad decisions in the past and, and they become regrets in our lives and they hold us back from moving forward in life. In fact, it's not just unique to us because the Apostle Paul struggled with that as well. Uh, before he came to Christ and, and became a Christian and, and, and bowed the knee to Jesus, um, there were some things that he had done, persecuting Christians, making these uh, wrong decisions in life that actually were scars in, on his heart. But Paul had to make an intentional decision on whether or not those scars were going to hold him back or he would deal with those things so that he could move forward in the future. And what Paul did was he made a decision in his heart. He wasn't going to let those things hold him back anymore, but he was going to move forward for God. Here's what Paul said, actually, in Philippians chapter 3. He says, my dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it. In other words, he's saying, I haven't become like Jesus yet, right? I, I, I'm working that way, right? But I focus on this one thing. And when you think about that, you say, okay, what's the one thing that Paul would focus on? You think, oh, maybe doing something great for God, sharing his faith. But he says, here's the one thing. Here's the one thing he says, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. And what Paul is saying is the one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to forget about the past decisions that I made that are holding me back in life. And what I'm going to do is focus on the future and the amazing things that God can do for us or do for me and through me. And so what I want to challenge you with today is maybe you're like myself. Maybe you're like the Apostle Paul. Maybe there are some things in your life that are holding you back from moving forward because when you look back at them, you feel regret from them. And what I want you to do is, is really think about this. Give those things to God. Confess those things to God. Ask for forgiveness. But then, like Paul said, put them behind you and focus on moving forward to where God wants you to go in life. And here's what I want you to recognize. If you're willing to do that, what can actually happen is your past mistakes can actually become your ministry for the future. Because what I believe is this, is that God has a, re, a way of redeeming even our brokenness to use them as a strength in our lives. Decisions that you made in the past can actually become your testimony today as you share that with other people. Because you know what? You're probably not the only one that was struggling from something that made a bad decision. Others are as well. But when you say to somebody else, hey, you know what? I struggle with this. But this is what God has done in my life to help me overcome that. And here how he's, here's how he took my weakness and actually has made it my strength. And what God will do is he'll actually use that in your life to make a difference in the future. So I want to challenge you. Keep dreaming big for God. Use your past actually as a testimony for your future to impact the lives of other people. And I think God will show up in a great way. 
Let me pray for us. Father, thank you that you redeem our past, God, when we confess it to you, when we give it to you. And thank you, God, that you can use that to actually become a testimony in our lives to encourage other people. And I pray that even this day, God, that you would help us instead of look at that as a regret, Lord, we can actually look at that as a strength, Lord, some of those things that we did in the past, as a strength for how you can use us to make a difference today. So thank you for that, God. Help us move forward with victory today. And thank you again that you're the God of big dreams. In Jesus' name, amen.